at Linters Primary School. We, we have, have all been going to the Linters Dyslexia Centre and here are our thoughts, feelings and reflections about our time here. Hello, my name is Samuel. Hello, my name is Esme and this is our video about our dyslexic times at Lintas. Hi, my name is Jasmine and um, I am from Zambezi at Lintas Primary School. Hello, my name is Rex and I'm in Mississippi class year 6. Hello, my name is Yola. Hello, my name is Daya. Welcome to our video. I found out that I was dyslexic in year two, but then I started going with Miss Wu in year three. And because I found it hard to like, I found learning hard um, in year two, uh, so it, it made a lot of sense. And how did you find learning hard? Um, I found it hard by, I couldn't, um, it was hard for me to spell, and it was hard um, for me to read like long words with uh, like more more than like two syllables. I can remember when I found out, out I was dyslexic um, and it was in year four. Um, and my reaction was that I was rather excited to be honest. Um, so when I found out I was dyslexic it was kind of I didn't know what I meant. I was just like okay and, I to, and then she was like, so have you ever, you know, on a white piece of paper with loads of words, like, it was all blurry for me, so that, that kind of explained it when she mentioned it, when Miss Way mentioned it to me. And sounding out, reading words, kind of bugs me. I can remember learning more in, uh, when I was doing my spellings, like, when I did my E, you know the gap in between the E, I just, I just made it look like a C. It didn't look like an E, so there was no space in the middle. And my teachers would be like, is that an E or a C? I would be like, E. It would just be so good. <laughs> but and now I can just do it properly. <laughs> but I mean, still, the only thing that bugs me still now is spelling, reading words, and that long sheet of paper with writing. All the time it bugs me. After someone told me that I was dyslexic, I felt a bit weird about it. I wasn't really annoyed or anything, but it's just, it was a bit weird having something like that because I've never really been told anything like that before. And when did you find out and how do you remember what learning was like before you found out? It was okay, it wasn't really that different. But I could see that once I was in year three, I was falling a tiny bit behind in spelling. When I found out I was just dyslexic, I felt really happy because I always wanted to be different. And do you remember learning before you found out you were dyslexic? Before I was dyslexic, um, I didn't know that I would be dyslexic because I never found spellings hard. But, yeah. Can you remember when you found out you were dyslexic? I think it was in year three. Um, I found I find tricky in school uh, is spelling and why I used to help me is um, this thing where it's the head and the body of and the tail of words and sometimes you can have two heads or two tails. And can you explain what you mean by head, body and tail? Like uh, when you spell it you sound out with syllables like the first bit is the head and then the middle bit is the body and the last bit is the tail. Um, at school I find it difficult to spell um, words and for wed wed Wednesday I used the strategy Wednesday and one, another one of my strategies is to sound out the word and put it into syllables and, I, and the last strategy is to look at the word and see if you recognise it from a, like a book or where, where you've seen the word before. I use all three of these strategies in literacy and when we're doing any pieces of writing. I don't find anything hard at school, but with my sessions with Mr. Shering, but now Mrs. Pierce, um, we do we do diff different strategies for how to do spellings. The only, the, this is one of my strategies that I have. Uh, 
because is hard. Okay, so the word because is hard for me to spell out. So I use the strategy I use is big elephants can add up subs easily because that one kind of because it bugs me. It bugs me a lot. So yeah, but I mean when I get it right, I'm actually happy. But except for that, yeah, and also. Like as we said, Wednesday. That's how I spell it, spell Wednesday. So, cause that one, one was, that one was a hard one as well. So, yeah. I found it difficult learning in the classroom because it's a big group, and uh, when Miss would be reading a, a like our classroom book with a literacy, I found literacy uh, like hard because um, I found it quite dif difficult to follow along with the book book because I find it hard to uh, focus on durations of time and um, going out with Miss Ray in like a one-to-one -one session and it's just easier for me to understand and with the one-on-one, -on -one, with the book thing, I told Miss Ray and Miss Han has like, like, I've sat at the front of the class to make sure I understand. Um new ways like strategies to do things i suppose and stuff like that i started going with miss weir and in year five i used to have two sessions uh, on monday and wednesday which were about half an hour but mm, now um i go with miss weir uh, on wednesday for a full hour so we join both of the days together and right now what i'm doing with miss weir is every year we write our own book and this year I'm writing my fourth, fourth sequel of the book I'm writing. And what are your books about, Jasmine? My books are about, the uh, overall summary is, um, so there are these girls and me and Yolanda and we're in the jungle, like that's where we live, but like these challenges come our way and there's this evil enemy called like uh, the big giant, the red giant, and it's where we're like, we have to save him. Uh, at the Linton's the Secure Center, I normally um, go on the laptop and do this spell game. So um, it helps, it helps me. So you can either read the words, spell the words, or yeah. So there's this, uh, Miss Weir says, um, so once we do one piece of work, she'll say, uh, once you, so once you run your test at the start of the uh, year, uh, she'll see what you uh, need help on, like what words you need help on. So then you'll go to the laptop and see what, uh, like, and you'll pick this these different games that have words in them. And you spell the words like lava monkey, crocodile crunch, or stuff like that, or uh, feather ape, or stuff like that. It helps you sound out your words, read your words and spell your words. Um, with Miss Wu I make books and uh, read books to her. So we kind of, every, uh, when it gets to the end of the year, we always uh, do a, a book about what we've done here or like a made up story just like that you, like, you just pops out of your head. So yeah, I do that every year. I'm writing one right now. Um, what has writing a book helped you with? Uh, my imagination. It's helped me with my imagination to like explore, uh, yeah, explore and express yourself. Like, and express myself. Yeah, express my feelings and see how creative and I am, or like how shy I am, or stuff like that. But I mean, I can't wait to just like get it into a full story. But I mean, my time at Nittas here has been great. I think they've helped me a lot, especially Miss Sawyer, because she actually gets it. But yeah. Mr. Sharon has taught me how to use voice to text. Um, what is voice to text? Um, and voice to text is when, when you're writing something down on like an iPad or something like electronic um instead of typing it which can which i find sometimes hard 
you um, click a button and it's like a microphone button and you say you say the words and then it will put them down but sometimes you do have to edit it because it doesn't hear you correctly. Miss Pierced has taught has shown me a touch typing website so that I can learn so when I'm in secondary school I can learn how to quickly do touch typing and in those sessions we do we do do like a bits of writing and um, like things to help with my learning but we also do fun things like some play some games and what kind of games do you play? We, she's also taught me a really fun game which is called Shut the Box. And so you have two dice and you roll them and whatever number they add up to there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you've got to shut them and you've got to make combinations. Um that that help, it just helps me with like so like I know like so I can quick up my number bonds and it's also just really fun. There are some things I've used in and been taught in the Dyslexia Centre, which I'm now using or used to use in class, which are quite useful. For example, when I was learning times tables back in year four and five, uh, Mrs. Sharon gave me lots of like tactics to do them, like lots of words that like link them up, like eight times, no, I ate and I ate and I and I was sick on the floor, so eight times eight is 64, and maybe seven times eight is 56, because five, six, seven, eight, and stuff like that. Mr. Sharon has taught me how to use voice to text. Um, what is voice to text? Um, and voice to text is when, when you're writing something down on like an iPad or something like electronic um instead of typing it which can which i find sometimes hard you um click a button and it's like a microphone button and you say you say the words and then it will put them down but sometimes you do have to edit it because it doesn't hear you correctly miss pierced um also helps me with my not only my literacy but my maths and this helps me in the classroom so that I can quicken up my number bonds and get get like to say we're doing column method and um, I'll be able to quick do it quick more quickly. In the sessions we also do lots of reading and I'm currently reading My Name is Mina and also we play lots of games, especially Shut the Box. And how does Shut the Box help you with your learning? Uh it's it's really tricky but like it's maths so it probably helps with lots of things that I don't know. The school trips that we went on were really fun. We usually go to the art gallery and we get to be creative in different ways every time and the display always changes. Do you like coming to the Lindhurst Dyslexia Centre? I like coming to Lindhurst Dyslexia Centre because it's fun. What kind of things do you do here? I work with Miss Ware and Miss Amy. On Thursday morning, I work with Miss Amy and with her, we use the drove and the we'll switch to book and white and draw. Sometimes we do easy things, sometimes we do hard things. How has Miss Ware helped you with your learning? Every year, we keep on doing like a story with Miss Ware, a bear ballerina. And what do you like about writing these stories, Dea? There's two things. So Miss Ware writes the things in the computer and I'm thinking and saying it to Miss Ware. We also play on computers. I achieve a goal, I feel happy and also casual. Because? Because it's now I'm more confident with my learning. It's not as surprising and exciting. I feel happy when I've achieved a goal because um, I achieve something and that makes me want to push and do more things. 
So even though I'm dyslexic, um, I feel like anyone else in the class and it doesn't stop me. So it feels normal just achieving a goal. I feel like annoyed but proud that I've like that I've achieved it. Um, and an example is um, I was reading a letter that came out in school about school journey and it said you have to bring appropriate clothes and I was like looking at the word appropriate and it was like really bugging me so then I, and then I, I eventually was like I was just sounding it out and I kept on saying it and I eventually got it. Sometimes I feel frustrated that I have dyslexia because um, my friends and like the people in my class they will be doing the work and they will be saying like this is easy and stuff well um, I, I'm quite, I'm, I was finding it quite difficult, like uh, when, we were, when we went out to Miss Rita to find that we were diagnosed, um, when we were coming out, when like my friends were there before me to like be taken out and they came back and was like, oh that was the most easiest work in my life, like we missed out so much work, it was the greatest thing ever. But then when I went I found it quite difficult, so um, um, I was wondering why and I was getting frustrated that I wasn't like the other people in my class. And how do you feel about it now with the help of the Dyslexia Centre? Um, I feel um, happy that I've been diagnosed because I know that um, I have dyslexia and that's why I find things difficult it isn't just because um, I just find it difficult and it explains a lot of things. And I have enjoyed being part of this, the Dyslexia Centre because you get to go on fun and trips and you get taken out a lesson if like because sometimes lessons get a little bit boring and you don't want to do it and I like being part of a community uh, and having a different mind from everyone else. Uh, when I got to see this where it helps me in the classroom a lot with like my handwriting and also my reading. I feel like I'm ready to learn, so yeah. It kind of gives me a boost of confidence. So yeah, it just helps me a lot. My favorite thing about the Dyslexia Centre is missing out on French lessons in year four and the fun trips and games you get to play. Can you tell us about one of the trips? Uh, when we go to the South London Gallery a lot and we look at the art because it's said that dyslexic people are quite good at art because the way their minds work in a different ways so they see things differently and more creatively. And how Not you... that other people don't. And how have you felt about being part of a group? Uh, okay, nothing bad. It's okay, I like it. I have enjoyed being part of the Dyslexic Centre because it is it means I'm more friends and friends with different people because when we go on school trips I like I like be friends with the people who are going on the school trips with us and also all the year sixes we like get to like go out in groups together and do things. I've been coming to the D Lintest Dyslexia Centre for two or three years, I can't remember which and I really like it because you get to miss the lessons that we don't like and have lots of fun. Because I mean like, I have a different mind to everyone and what they're saying and I mean it's nice to have a little help some, sometimes because sometimes you can't just figure it out by yourself, sometimes it's something that you can really figure out or something, sometimes it's something that the teacher can figure out. But, um, yeah. I think that teachers in the classroom should know is that um, when we are like right, um, when we are like being distracted or we're doing something irritating for like other people, um, it's not because we're being annoying. It's because we're tr we're trying to help us focus and uh, that when when we're with work to me to like, let us sit like, in a special place so we can go along with the class. And I think what helps me personally is um, fidget fidgeting because um, I find it hard to concentrate on 
um, a certain thing at a time and um, like when we're lesson like like I find it a little bit hard to uh, sit down and look focus at the board so what I do to help me is fidgeting. I would say let them fidget because like um, they need something in their hand or just something to fidget with because if they don't have anything to fidget with they'll bang on the table like or something just like flick their pencil so I would recommend a fidget cube or like yeah or a fidget spinner. Um, advice that I have for um, dyslexic teachers is if people like like to move around a lot you should let them because otherwise um, when you're doing work um, it find it's it's harder for them to concentrate and they might get the work wrong but it's not their fault because they want to see some students are dyslexic and sometimes they need a little bit, a little bit more time. And uh, some teachers forget that, so they'll just think they'll push you to your limits. I mean, it helps, but at the same time, it doesn't because uh, all, all I'd say is you feel very sensitive inside. It's, of, and it's just when some of your friends forget what, like, forget that you're dyslexic. Like, in the alphabet, some people they just don't get the middle part right, and when someone like is that happened to be in year th uh, four because I told my friend Matthew and he was like you don't know how to do it I was like well yeah I don't but I mean sometimes you just need to remind them because they're still your friends but they just I don't know expect you to know more I think maybe uh, like my old teacher Mr Sheffield was very good and he used to give us these yellow card because most dyslexic people find it harder to read on white surface because of the sometimes there's a thing called like word rivers where they would see and the words would be like separate and it would look like a flowing river so and my teacher used to give us yellow card all the time and it was very useful is there anything that doesn't help in a classroom uh maybe Like they say, rushing people is just in general isn't that good. You should let them do it in their own time as long as they're not like actually taking forever. My hopes and fears, although I don't have many fears, my hopes are to be more independent and to do lots more extracurricular lessons like in art, uh, in my new school they have like 3D models the one 3d printers and things like that and sculptures that you get to do and you get to do more things like criminology and more interesting things they do have a dyslexia center there but they say because of what um, mr sharon said when i went there because i had a letter from him to give he said oh he might not need it but just keep a uh, keeper in case if he wants it he'll probably come up to you I am looking forward to secondary school, yeah, because um, it's it's just like an upgrade and there's like a new building and it's like a, in a new area. In secondary school, I'm looking forward to having two weeks extra holiday. Um, my hopes for secondary school is that it's easy to make friends and that um, by the time, like in the first week, I'll have a few good friends who I know will like, stick with me through the years of um, my secondary school. And what are you scared about? I'm scared of... Like people, I don't know like people like who are like me and then they don't like take into account that I'm dyslexic and then when I get things wrong they're like really rude and mean. Drama classes, singing and uh, musical playing and also um, my fears is that I um, is that one day if it has me sick I might fall down the stairs because I'm afraid of heights and in Deptford Green there's gaps in between the stairs. Um, a 
some advice that I would give to people who have just found out that they're dyslexic is that it's okay to be dyslexic and if there are things that you like want to do, don't be scared to like do them. Uh, the advice I would give uh, primary school children that have just discovered that they're dyslexic is that being dyslexic makes you special in many ways. Uh, don't fret, it's okay. Although I worried at first because I didn't really know what it was and to me it sounded like a big scientific word and it was the end of the world. Uh, it's okay, in a way it makes you a lot better because and it's more achieving, so say you do something that a normal person would be like, oh cool, to you it's a lot harder so if you get something like that it's much more impressive. If you've just found out you're dyslexic, it doesn't really matter because it won't stop you, especially as loads of famous people who have changed the world are dyslexic. Here are some positive things about being dyslexic. You, you can make lots of friends for in the dyslexic centre, so people who like you go on trips with and you get to go on trips and no, there are lots of people who are like big stars and they're, they're dyslexic. I would say it's not bad to be dyslexic. You should be happy because you have a different mind to everyone else because it's not, it's not kind of fun having the same mind as everyone else. But I mean, yeah, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be upset because dyslexic, there's loads of dyslexic people that, are, that have achieved so many great goals. So yeah. So I mean, like, don't, don't be upset with dyslexia. And if you don't understand, then uh, the person who is uh, your dyslexic teacher uh, should tell you. But I mean, yeah. And when you're going out of class, it's when you come back into class. When you go go out of class to do some extra learning, and when you come back, it feels like you have a boost of energy, so you can say lots of stuff. I, um, I that's what happens when I go to this school. So. Yeah. Dyslexia doesn't stop you from achieving your goals and your dreams, whatever they might be. Thank you Thank for you watching, watching our video. video. We hope Thank you enjoyed you. it.